Hi there, well today's the day, uh, this is very exciting and uh, hopefully we'll get this uh, little wobbler up and running. Okay, so off camera I uh, use Loctite to join this little connector to the rod. Now the rod in the piston is loose and uh, at this stage we need to determine the actual length of um, that component. So. Um, if we bring it to the bottom of the stroke we need to make sure that the piston doesn't come out beyond the end of the cylinder which in this case it doesn't then if we move it to the top of the stroke we need to make sure that the piston doesn't go beyond that little hole which it doesn't. So um, I need to lock tight the piston at that particular position on the rod. So the other thing I've done off camera is to use Loctite to connect this brass pivot rod into the cylinder. And now I'm going to attach it with this spring and my new nut that I made now one thing we haven't done yet is to make the inlet and outlet ports here but we'll do that once we've connected the piston up and we can work out where those ports need to go Okay, so this is uh, just a quick test fit and uh, it turns nicely, very happy with that, but unfortunately the piston is just sticking out of the bottom. So I think that's due to the fact that I didn't take into account this play here. So I'm going to have to uh, get the blowtorch out, take the piston off and then have another go. Okay so I've changed the uh, length of the piston assembly and uh, that is dead parallel with the bottom now so I'm very happy with that. So the idea now is to move the crank to 90 degrees so i.e. 9 o'clock and then using this little centre punch uh, mark where I need to drill one of the inlet stroke outlet ports then move it to three o'clock and again punch it to mark where I need to drill the other inlet stroke outlet port. Also at the same time what I'll do is to just mark uh, this little bush here so I know where to um, Loctite it in place on the upright. Okay so this is drilling one of the uh, inlet stroke outlet ports um, 3 30 seconds of an inch in diameter. Okay, so that's both the inlet and outlet uh, holes drilled. So what I'm going to do now is just switch it round and then on the other side um, drill um, 3 sixteenths of an inch in uh, using uh, 1 eighth of an inch diameter drill bit. Um, so these holes, uh, an eighth of an inch, will hold the inlet and the outlet pipes. Okay, so uh, just using the original drill, I'm just making sure we lined up here correctly. Uh, so I'll switch this drill bit round for one eighth of an inch, and I'll, I'll drill halfway down, and then I'll repeat the process on that side. Okay, so we're very nearly there now. Um, all I need to do is, on the cylinder, block these two holes off. Uh, I've just got a little bit of brass here, which I'll use. Um, so I'll lock tight those in 
and uh, obviously we use the top one to sort of punch through. Uh, the bottom one, the intention there is if this face is way out of perpendicular the idea would be to uh, use that as a support um, in the lathe so I think you'd put the um, brass bar right through and then spin it on the lathe um, but anyway we didn't need to do that hopefully <laughs> uh, so I'll just block these off and uh, tidy the ends up and then I think we're good to go well this is the moment of truth I have not tried this before so this is the first time I will attempt at starting it and I've got a little air compressor on the floor so I'll start that up now Let's see what happens Hey! It works! Slow it down a bit. Well that was an absolutely fantastic project to undertake to help me develop my uh, engineering skills and get me out of my comfort zone. I can't believe that it started first time. Um, I can't thank Tubal Kane enough for actually producing his videos initially to tell me how to make this and uh, I can't thank him enough. Um, but I, I think the result's fantastic. Uh, I'm over the moon with it. Hope you like it.